Hello, welcome to the Jurassic Coast. Hiya. How are you doing? Oh, Shiny. she's happy. Shiny. <laughs> yeah, Shannon, hands are cold. And you completely ruined the whole day for everyone. <laughs> morning. Oh, hello. You're in the habit of standing around on street corners. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, hello, Shannon. You all right? Yes, I'm great. How are you? Yeah, not bad, thanks. Spencer has described Nusrat Ghani's allegations as completely false after she lost her job in a reshuffle. I want to pick the tension up in your face while you're doing this. <laughs> I should probably drop it. I'll do something. That's it. That's it. It's clicked now, isn't it? So I'm glad you've got a three-legged thing too. Oh, no, she's happy. <laughs> I thought what we'd do, Sid, is we'll just have a little walk around first. I can show you where the best places to shoot from. I didn't put my makeup on. <laughs> I was going to surprise you. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, I was going to bring my dead knife. It's a nice camera, it really is. Oh, it's, what, it's, it, what it can do is amazing. It's a piece. It's a real it piece. It is a piece, yeah. <laughs> well, can I go that way first? I think that's the easy way. Flip that around, I'll say composition. We want to film sin. It's something like that. Right, remember what I said about your settings. Look at your sky. It's like blown. So, I'm going like this. Where's the dial? It's dark to the sky, it brings some definitely. Doesn't matter if it's in shadow because I'll bring it back. Also, look at your horizon. So, you're on a Titanic. The old reef's bridge, don't Um, bowl. Come, come back, go back to where it's 30 seconds. I'll shoot that. Okay. Fire! So what are you doing? Testing, testing, one, two, three. Ah, it's good to take a load off. Something therapeutic about uh, just listening to the waves crash against the shoreline. You get the best of all worlds, really, when you do photography. Obviously, you get to go home with an amazing photograph, hopefully. If you've worked hard enough for it and you know what you're doing. Um, but also, you get to enjoy this. But not just seeing it, I mean, that's the downside of photography, really, is you can obviously visually see this wonderful landscape that's uh, in front of you, but you don't get to hear it. I sit here all day. No, it's not lining up properly. You watch, he's going to do it now, there you watch. Nearly. <laughs> <laughs> it's back. Yeah. When that goes back like that, you'll get white lines going down the rocks. They look really nice. So if you get your composition right and have it on there, if we can get. Well, you're gonna have to really cheat here, so ISO 100. F16. Maybe take out to F16, that might break down to 20th of a second. And it might just be enough. 
Might be just up and get some drag. You can go fast shot speeds. You could do that instead, but for me, I think you need really big weights for that. Yeah. And it's just too, it's not moving enough. Start shooting and you create this world that's abstract, it's not real. Yeah. Because you're freezing stuff. Where if you do sometimes the handheld shots on better shots. Sorry, say that again. Please don't be. Guys, right, okay, we're in the car park to Portland Bill. Portland Bill is just behind me there. Iconic uh, lighthouse. Uh, we're on the Jurassic Coast, uh, so that's the south of England. Um, today, weather-wise, we're quite fortunate. Uh, the bad thing for photography, however, we have got a bit of a flat sky, but there, a lot of photographers will be put off by that because, um, well, it's flat, <laughs> it's boring. However, um, you can get some drift in this, so we've got some breakages up here in the sky. Uh, that will pick it up when you do long exposure shots, so that's quite cool. But first things first, let's just talk about arriving here. So Portland is actually over over the back there. Uh, we drove out on the way in. Uh, we've come up a big hill to the other side. Uh, we've come down the hill. Uh, you've got the main car park here. It is pay and display. Um, I think for about 12 hours it costs about five uh, It is cash or you can pay uh, by app, which is what I did. Um, there is toilets, which are just located over there, male and female, which is good, uh, so that's a bit of a bonus. Uh, the other thing also, they've got this uh, lobster pot cafe thing here. Unfortunately, we're shooting this in January, so it's actually shut, so winter months I think it's shut, but normally it is open. I've been down here when it's been open. It does get quite busy, but that's a really good spot, obviously, if you're shooting down here all day, you can quickly retreat here and get a nice bacon sarnie. So, a few other pointers, obviously, uh, you get a lot of dog walkers up here, families out on holiday. We're shooting on a Sunday. Uh, this is in January, so it's a winter so technically it should be a bit quieter however um, for some crazy reason there's a lot of people out and about I'm sort of hoping that they'll filter down at lunchtime which I think is actually lunchtime now because my belly's rumbling um, so yeah hopefully that'll filter down it'll give us a little bit more space however if there are people in your shot if you shoot further away you've always got Lightroom or Photoshop or spot removal tool just zoom in and get rid of them it's not a problem don't let that stop you shooting um, at the end of the day, unless they're standing right in front of your camera, it's not normally a problem. Hello, lady. What's the kitty? <laughs> How are you doing? Alright. Did you get a good shot from that ang angle? Well, I did. I got did a little bit of portrait, which I hadn't done yet, as well. And, um, yeah, Shannon, hands are cold. I always seem to have a problem with photography, and that's in the fact that I often damage my equipment, uh, which isn't great because it's expensive. Um, but I always seem to have a problem with, I don't know, maybe not paying attention, too busy vlogging, uh, mucking around, which tends to be the case. Uh, but I got home last week, and to be honest, it was about three or four days into the week. I'm getting ready for this video, uh, getting my tripod out, making sure it's okay, and then one of the legs fall off, just like that. I mean, it's a fantastic tripod, don't get me wrong, Photo Pro, fantastic mate, highly recommend them. However, the leg fell off and it was completely my fault. Uh, basically, what you get is these nuts, um, which I'll show you. So you get these little nuts here that go in, uh, male and female, they feed into one or the other. And when I first got the uh, tripod, I got excited as you do, you go running out the door with it, start shooting. I didn't check to make sure that they were all tight. These weren't, I don't know why. I sent them out like that, but yeah. So the legs weren't tight. Yesterday, as of three o'clock, my tripod had two legs. So I've had to pop to the local um, hardware store, which is called B&Q, little shout out for you guys. So grateful to you. And we fitted a nut and bolt, um, which I'm gonna give a shout out to my, my son here, Finlay. He came up with this idea, basically to fit this nut and bolt through there, does the job, perfect. I can now shoot again, so me happy. Right, so, I think we're breaking for lunch. However, Sin is carrying the world's biggest backpack on his back. I thought he actually had his lunch in there. But he just said to me he has made lunch, but unfortunately it's home in his fridge. Okay, yeah. So you've got the cove sweeping around, that's, that works, that's all right. It depends if you want it like more, I don't know. Oh, 
Oh, oh bless it. It's a little doggy. Right, a few things to be aware of um, when you're working on a cliff edge like this. It's not really a massive cliff, it's probably about a 10 foot drop. However, the sea is icy cold this time of year and you do not want to be falling into it. So you need to be really, really careful. Also, uh, these are rocks. Uh, this time of year, to be honest, at the moment they're not too bad. Uh, there's a few areas that are slippery, uh, a bit mossy, so you need to be careful of that. Um, there's obviously puddles um, and there's a lot, a lot of tripping hazards. So my advice is if you are going to walk along here, um, don't be a lazy photographer, pack your tripod up, pack your camera gear up between each shoot. Uh, you don't want to be falling over here because you've got very expensive equipment and it can get easily, easily damaged. It's not worth it. A few other things to be aware of is obviously you're working near the sea. Uh, you can get um, sea salt spray, uh, go on your camera. That's not great. Uh, sea salt basically, it's not good for your camera gear at all. Um, if you do get it on there, um, my advice is get it cleaned as quickly as possible. Normally with lukewarm water does the trick, just uh, use a cloth, uh, wipe it down and then leave it out to dry. Uh, take your lens off your camera also, uh, keep the components out and then basically let them dry and you should be okay. If you are unfortunate to drop your camera or your lens into the water, don't go jumping after it, um, it's pretty much gone. Um, even if you do retrieve it, you won't be able to use it again, it's completely pointless, so leave it where it is. Final thing is wind. Um, I don't know if it's picking it up on the microphone here. Uh, to be honest, I think the wind speed today is about eight mile an hour, so it's not too bad. That's why we've had the drone out. Uh, the wind has picked up a little bit this afternoon. Uh, I can see it by the cloud cover coming over. It, the clouds are drifting a bit quicker now, so it is picking up. So just be careful with that. And also, if you are working close to the uh, edges, uh, just keep a, an eye out for waves. Uh, at the moment, the sea is quite calm, uh, but that can turn. Um, I've noticed that in uh, the UK. Uh, so this is the Jurassic Coast. We've got a lot more to shoot down this way. There's loads of places I don't want the door to go. That's it, guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that I'm trying to shoot the end of my video. <laughs> oh, you just haven't shut up all day. She's not shut up. And she's coming and she's butt into. Right, I was on the last word. Literally she's on the last, the last word. word. Done and you come in out of nowhere and you completely ruin the whole day for everyone. <laughs> everyone. That's it guys, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and if you liked it, hit the like button, and do leave a comment below, we love your comments. See you on the next video, it's a tuna pimp, and lock up now, stand.